<laughs> Hi everyone. My name's Tegan. I am a youth staff member this year. Uh, and we're just going to wait until some more people join. We'll probably start about 1.35. Hi. Today, for those of you who don't know, we're going to be making um, planters out of water bottles. So I made this one a couple weeks ago. So it's a unicorn and I have flowers growing in it right now. Mm -hmm. Hi everyone. Thank you. How's everyone doing? If you could tell me like what state you're from in the chat so that I know. I'm from Illinois. I live in Aurora. <laughs> Thanks, Grace. <laughs> so that's, we're going to be making um, a dog one today, but you can do any um, design that you want. So if you want to make a unicorn planter like this one, you can do that too. West Virginia, that's cool. Tennessee and Kentucky, awesome. Northern Virginia, it's cool. For those of you just joining, um, today we're going to be recycling plastic bottles and reusing them to make planters. So here's an example of one I made a couple weeks ago. And if you can't tell, but there is a water bottle in here. And um, you just decorate it, and I have flowers growing in there right now. And then also, we're not showing this one today, but this is a piggy bank that I made out of um, a recycled Gatorade bottle. And there's bottle caps for the feet, and there's a little slot to put coins in. So that one's really easy too. North Carolina, hi! We're just going to wait a couple more minutes to see if anyone else is going to join and then we can get started. Anyone do anything fun? Over the summer, I know there's not much, many choices. Or is anyone excited for the Youth Awards? The Virtual Youth Awards this year? Hi to everyone joining, my name's Tegan. I'm a youth staff member this year, um, but before I was a youth staff member, I was a student at the Youth Awards. Just let me know if you have any questions before we get started. Here is an example of something similar that we're going to be making today. <laughs> Need Zoom Awards, yes. And um, if anyone has any questions, um, Kim is going to be joining and she can answer your questions in the comments while I'm going. Hi everyone! For those of you just joining, I am I'm going to be showing everyone how to upcycle plastic bottles um, to make um, planters. Here's an example of one that I made a few weeks ago, and right now I have little flowers growing inside. Yes, last year was so fun, and we're excited to have a lot of fun this year at the Youth Awards, even though they're going to be virtual. Okay, so we'll wait a couple more minutes, and then we'll get started. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tegan, and I am a rising senior at Oswego East High School. I have been involved with NEED for six years now, and I started as a student at the Youth Awards, and now this will be my third year on staff, and I'm very excited. Um, 
for this year's Youth Awards, even though they're virtual, they're still going to be just as fun. Okay, so while we're waiting, some materials that you're going to need for today is a plastic water bottle with no label. You can take the label off. You're going to need some scissors um, and then colored paper, um, any colors you want. And I'm using a hot glue gun, but you can use um, tape or just regular glue if you want to. Um, and you could also use paint or markers, um, but I'm not going to be using those today just because the paint gets a little messy. Okay. I think I'm going to start now. Okay. So if everyone gets their plastic water bottle, um, you're going to cut the plastic water bottle about right here. And make sure when you're cutting, you, you, you have a parent or older um, guardian help you cut because I don't want anyone to get hurt. And so you're going to cut the water bottle all the way around. until it's just the bottom portion of the water bottle. So you're just gonna have a small portion like this, and the top part and the cap, you're just gonna recycle those. Okay, and so with this bottom portion, um, everyone is going to take their paper, and you're going to measure where it stops, and you're gonna cut, you're gonna cut around so that the paper can cover the entire water bottle. And so I'm going to use a straight edge for that, just so that I get a straight line. Okay. And for those of you who are just joining, um, today we're making um, planters out of re recycled water bottles. And this is one that I made a couple weeks ago. Today we're going to be making um, one for that looks like a dog or a cat, but you can design it however you want. Okay. okay, so now that I cut my piece of paper, I am going to put it all the way around my water bottle, and you could trim off the excess right there. Okay, so now that I have enough paper to cover the bottom portion of my water bottle, I am just going to glue that to the actual water bottle, um, but if you don't have glue, you can always use tape also. Perfect. Okay, so now that I have my water bottle covered, you can see, you can still see the water bottle, um, but when you set it down, um, it just looks like paper. And so now I can start to decorate the actual bottle. So since I'm making a dog right now, I'm going to cut off ears with paper. Okay. So I have little ears that I'm now going to hot glue to the paper. So I have one ear on there. And now I can glue my second ear. And if you are going to use a hot glue gun, just be careful not to burn yourself. So just have a parent or older guardian help you with that. Okay, so now I have both ears glued on to the water bottle. So now I have some pink paper that I'm going to use as a tongue for the dog. Okay. 
and I'm going to glue that on there. Okay, and I also have some googly eyes right now, so here's what it looks like right now. And I have some googly eyes that I'm going to glue on there as well just to make the planter a little bit more fun. And if you don't have the materials with you right now, you can always go back and watch this video because it's going to be up on the Need YouTube channel shortly. So here's what it looks like right now. I'm going to add some details with some black marker. Okay. So now that I have some details drawn. I drew whiskers, so it can be a cat or a dog. And then when your planter is all finished, you can add dirt on the inside and then you could plant seeds also. You can plant um, seeds to grow herbs and um, or you could plant flowers like I did with this one and then it'll grow and it'll look so cute and if you wanted to make a unicorn like this one instead of doing the two triangles for the dog you can do just one larger triangle to make a unicorn horn okay and so if anyone has any questions about how you make that um, just make sure that um, you ask them down below and I could try and answer those um, and just like Kim said in the comments, if you're making one at home, um, please share with us and use the hashtag NeedZoomAwards so that we can share your projects as well. And this is a, another um, project that I made. And so it's a recycled Gatorade bottle and it's um, a piggy bank. So you can you cut a slit in the bottle and then you just decorate it and it can be used as a piggy bank and when you want to get your coins out you can just unscrew the cap and it makes it really easy. And then I also used, since I was cutting the cap off of a lot of these smaller bottles, I used the caps to make the feet for the piggy bank. So that one's really fun and really easy too. Thank you. So if anyone has any questions about any of that, just Feel free to ask them in the comments below. Um, you can ask questions about the bank or about the planter. And so I, we'd love to see all of your creations. Um, so just tag us if you make them and we'll be happy to repost them. You're welcome. I hope everyone had fun today. And if you need to rewatch the video, it's going to stay up on our Instagram for another 24 hours. And then it's going to be on our YouTube channel too. So thanks everyone. I hope you have fun this weekend at our first and hopefully only <laughs> Need Zoom Awards. Bye.